In this video, I'll show you how to connect your broader HL2460DW or in fact any other broader printers that are looking the same way as this one to your iPhone. So how to do it? Well, let's get started right away. First of all, we need to connect your broader printer to your Wi-Fi network. So first make sure that your printer is turned on and from here you're going to press once on the back button and then use the arrows here to navigate through the menu. Check the screen there until you select network. Once you're under network, press OK. Then with these arrows, navigate until you select WLAN Wi-Fi. And then you're going to see find network. Press OK. You may have set up wizard or something else on your broader printer if you do not see the find network. Press OK. It will say searching SSID. Wait just a few seconds. And now you're going to have all the Wi-Fi networks being displayed on the screen. You can shuffle through them with these arrows. Like this. These are all the Wi-Fi network around me. And just by doing this, I should find mine. Here we go. This is my Wi-Fi network. Once you're over it, press OK. And now you're going to see network key. Now it's time to type the password. This printer does not have any keyboard. It will be a hassle, but hey, we need to do it using only these up and down arrows. So go ahead and type it by going through all the characters using these buttons. Then once you're done typing your password, you're going to press OK. It will say apply settings, press yes by clicking on the down arrow here. And it will uh, say over here connecting WLAN. Just wait a few seconds and you will get the connected message here telling you that the printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. And to make sure, look at the light over here. If the light stops blinking like the way it was before, it simply means that it's now connected to your Wi-Fi. Once your broader printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network, we need to go on the App Store on your iPhone and download the Broader Mobile Connect app. If you have an older Broader printer, you'll need to download instead the Broader iPrint and Scan. This is for older models, but if you have the 2460DW like me, you need to get the newer app, which is Broader Mobile Connect. So go ahead and download it, open the app, press OK. Press allow, press OK. Then from this screen, you're going to select the first option over here, register your machine. Press allow. Wait a few seconds and your brother printer should appear in this list. Mine is the only one since I only have one printer. Tap on it. And you'll get this green check mark saying that the app is now connected to your broader printer. Press complete. It will go on this page over here. You can close down and go back to the app. It's just trying to uh, register your printer and sell you some stuff. Okay, perfect. We are on the main page of the broader app. Now, let me show you how easy it is to print from your iPhone. So you have two choices, document print or photo print. Since this is a laser black and white printer, I think most of the people will choose document print. It's not good to print pictures. So I'll go ahead and select document print. And now you'll be directed on the internal memory of your iPhone. You need to select which document you'd like to print. In my case, it's this one, so I'll tap on it. Before doing anything else, make sure that you have actually some paper inserted inside of your printer. And then from this screen, before pressing the green print button, I suggest you press this small cog wheel, you see right over there. So you make sure that these settings are okay with you. So make sure that the paper size is actually the one that you're intent to use. Copies, you can select the number of copies. I just want one, so I'll keep it this way. And the other options that are important. I think it's two sided over here. So if you want to print on both sides of your paper, you're going to need to select one of these options. In my case, it's just one page. So I'll leave it off. And finally, the quality. Normal is the lower quality. Fine is the best quality. For text, 
um, document, you won't notice much of a difference. But if you're trying to print graphics or pictures, I think you should select fine. It will give you the best results. And from here, you also have select pages in case you have a very big document and you only want to print a specific page. I'll go back. And now it's time to press the print button. You can extend this if you do not want the page to fly over, but if you're just printing one page, you want, there's no risk for this to fall on the ground. And here we go. This is the page we just selected and it got printed in just a few seconds. To go back on the main menu, press the X button on the top right corner and here we go. You can always click on your broader printer on the top here to see the ink levels. Since this printer does not have a display showing you how much ink is left, this is a very handy feature over here. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please check the Amazon affiliate links down below. This supports my channel. If you want to get some toner cartridge for your brother printer or some paper or other accessories, check the links there. If not, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.